this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. I should have been here. Somebody made a false report. Sent me to the tunnels to divert my attention. Like I said, people working against you. Who was that on the radio? We're still working on that. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick, and we are once again back playing. Do you some want to see this laptop break. or not? We are at the third junction of the game, so the third major decision. And if all other previous junctions are indicator, we're about to get a fairly lengthy live action cutscene. So either go to the bathroom if you need to pee, or make yourself some popcorn and enjoy the show. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. It's kind of, since we know that Hatch has been plotting against us this entire time, Based on our last decision, on our last junction, then this decision is probably the easiest one. Yeah. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. 
I see. Sir? Put people in Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on them. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. <laughs> Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. A kill team. <laughs> Doesn't get any more pointed than Beth that. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. What She'd been there the whole time. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Move it time. Yeah, finally with the majority. <laughs> All right, let's sit back and watch this. Turn off the captions just to remember, right? The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. <sighs> Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. Back up slowly. <laughs> I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. Paul's a very dangerous man, and things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A current undisrupted life form? Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? 
the idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Selene. See, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Sawin's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation, it can only be done from the inside. I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> He's not wearing a belt with this suit. That's weird. <laughs> I'm OCD things. Okay, I'm OCD about these type of things. Charlie. Yeah. Hey, bud. Where you going? <laughs> He's like, shit. Time's in me. Just like you said, in the lifeboat protocol, it's a place they built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we going to do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. All right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd Vulcan you do death grip. Uh, 
I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Charlie's pretty sly for a nerd. That cell phone trick. Radio that or book that I activated earlier. <laughs> That's sweet. I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment. It's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. Up with everyone inside of it. He didn't even give those guards a chance to escape. What a dick. 